Welcome to video 13.5a, distance and midpoint formulas. So just lay out some of the general formulas and then we'll apply them in some examples to come up. First one, the midpoint formula. Uh, I like to remember it as just, it's the average of the x, comma the average of the y. And to find the average of the x, you just add and divide by two. To find the average of the y, you just add, divide by two. So I always try to think of uh, quick, easy memory devices. Distance formula in two dimensions, really this stems from the Pythagorean theorem. So it's a square root of um, the difference in x is squared plus a difference in y is squared. In three dimensions, just really briefly, how three dimensions work, uh, for a three dimensional coordinate system, the x axis comes out towards you, the y axis goes out that way, and the z axis goes straight up. Um, and the reason they do this, most things occur just on the floor. So X and Y would be on the floor in a two-dimensional world. And then for three dimensions, we basically just add that uh, Z axis. Uh, so in three dimensions, it's just like two dimensions, except we add that, that third component, the Z2 minus Z1. And just to show you uh, what that could look like, uh, this would be a three-dimensional distance going across here. If I had just something in a plane, that would be two dimensions, but this is three. And then uh, the division of line. Uh, some students struggle with this, so when I go over the examples, I'll, I'll go very slowly and make sure you understand. So um, you're going to have some problems where a line is divided, and we'll start at a point, and we'll go a fraction amount of the distance along the line. So for example, let's suppose we start at this point, and we go one-fourth, along the line, and I want to find out what the new coordinates are, the line segment, okay? So uh, it's very important you know where you're starting and where you're ending. Um, so the formula is the new x-coordinate will be the starting x-coordinate plus the fractional amount times the ending x minus the starting x. Always, always, and minus start. That'll keep your signs uh, straight. The new y value, same thing. The starting y value plus the fractional amount of the ending y minus the starting y. And you've got to be very careful with signs. So for this example here, my new x coordinate will be larger than my starting x coordinate because I'm going in the positive x direction. However, my new y coordinate will be less than my starting y coordinate because I'm going in the negative y direction. So again, this will take care of those signs, but you've got to just label things. Start, end, and new, and you'll have no problems whatsoever. So there you have it, uh, some basic formulas, and we'll apply them in some examples coming up. 